Welcome to this e-learning video for how to create a Yaskawa VFD Ethernet IP node in less than 60 seconds. I'm Paul Avery. Our objective for this video is to show the seven steps to create a Yaskawa VFD node using Rockwell's Logic Designer software. Before we start, there are a couple of things that we need to do. First, we need to select our input assembly, the data going to the PLC. Second, we need to select our output assembly, the data going out of the PLC. For this, we'll select Input Assembly 71 and Output Assembly 21. Here we have Logic's Designer running offline, which is required to add a node. Note that a project has been created for a Compact Logic's PLC and no Ethernet IP node exists. And to prove this can be done in under 60 seconds, we'll have a timer running up in the top right corner. So let's get started. First, we'll right click on the Ethernet icon and select New Module. In the pop up window, Click the search box and search for Generic Ethernet Module. Select it in the Results pane. The new module window pops up and we can begin our seven steps. Step 1. Give the node a name. We will call ours simply Yaskawa. Step 2. Choose the COM format by selecting Data-INT. Step 3. Set the IP address of the node to 192.168.1.20. Step 4. Set the input assembly to 71, which is 4 bytes or 2 words. Step 5. Set the output assembly to 21, which is also 4 bytes or 2 words. Step 6. Set the configuration number to 1 with a size of 0. The final step is to set the RPI time to a recommended 100 milliseconds. The node is created. Note the time it took to perform this, under 60 seconds. Let's go online and download the configuration into the PLC to test our setup and see if there are any errors. There are no errors, so good for us. Let's test run the drive by using a free Yaskawa add-on instruction that we had imported and set up earlier. As you can see, the AOI is referenced to our node called Yaskawa. To test run, enter a frequency reference in the AOI and toggle the run bit. Voila! The motor takes off and runs. Mission accomplished. This all went by pretty quickly, but that was kind of the point. If you wish to watch a video that goes deeper into this topic, or about the Yaskawa AOIs, tag generator, and faceplates, please see the video description for clickable links. If you are watching the video from a download, please visit the Yaskawa America Ethernet IP page at www.yaskawa.com forward slash ethernet dash IP.